In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to set an automation that will program the WX1 tap timer to put on a 24-hour rain delay when the Helios Wi-Fi weather station detects rainfall. Hi, my name's Rebecca and welcome back to another 3 Minute Thursday. Today we'll be learning how to set an automation to save water in the garden. To run this automation, we will need one WX1 Wi-Fi tap timer, we will need one Helios Wi-Fi weather station, and we need both of these to be connected to your home router. When setting an automation, it's important to remember that the main function is to trigger a task when certain conditions are met. For this example, the condition will be the weather station picking up rainfall, and the task will be the WX1 triggering a 24-hour rain delay. To start off with, we'll have to open the Holman Home app and make sure that both of our products are currently online. To set an automation, we'll go to the scene section, which is the checkbox icon at the bottom of the screen. Next, we'll select create scene. We'll then select when a device status changes. The device that we'll be choosing is the Helios weather station. There are many functions available to you, but we'll be choosing rainfall since 9am. You can now select the parameters of your automation. I'm going to be choosing greater than, and I'm going to put in, for this exercise, 0.3 mils, but you'll probably be wanting to have a higher threshold. Then you'll select next, and the start of your automation will be displayed on the screen. Next, we'll be adding the task. Select Add Task and then select Run the Device. The device we'll be choosing is the WX1 Tap Timer. We can then select the function, which for this exercise will be the watering delay. You can choose from 24 hours, 48 hours or 72 hours. In this exercise, we're going to be setting a 24 hour rain delay. Then you'll want to select Save and then Next. The automation will then be displayed to you so you can check or make any changes. For this exercise, I'm going to be adding a second task, which will be to add a notification when my automation is triggered. To do this, I'm going to add another task. I'm then going to select send notification and I'm going to select in the message center. This will send a push notification to my device when my automation is triggered. Then I'm going to select save. It'll ask me if I want to start using my automation and I'm going to select yes. If I want to make changes to my automation, I can access it at any time in the scene section of Holman Home. Let's see if the automation works. First, I'm going to be adding some water to my Helios weather station. Next, when the app updates, it should trigger my automation to start. As you can see, the automation worked perfectly. And this is just one example of the ways you can set up a smart garden using Home and Home products. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you smart gardeners in the next video.